hi guys this is colette welcome back to my channel well i have a mishmash video for y'all maybe a little bit of an update here and there and it is hella hot here in south florida and oh boy i had no ac for a while so yeah all right let's start with the boxycharm box for this month because i am totally totally psyched by this month's boxycharm okay and yeah so let's get into this really quickly i'm sorry i'm just trying to clear a few things from in front of me it is what it is bear with me y'all know i just do what I do I set up camera not camera set up my phone it's on one of my brush stands and a little um, lamical, lamical stand and that's it anyway so we had five full-size products where is the other one in this month's boxy charm what month are we in again September yes it's September I should remember this because Ulta is doing their 21 days of beauty. Ah, okay. The boxy charm. Calm down, Colette. Calm down. Anyway, one of the things that was in our boxy charm for this month, I have the little flyer I threw out the box. So it says boxy charm, all access. And I may need my glasses, but it's, I think maybe I can see this. So one of the things in here from the five things is this Moda five piece brush set. This is Moda Pro. It says takes it to the next level. Um, this line is superior, features superior quality filaments and modern professional shape. Use this kit to create endless untrained eye looks this brush set you guys retails for 27.95 just jump out the front gate because our box of charm is 20 bucks a month plus your tax 21 dollars a month just about it and you get all these wonderful goodies so this is the packet that the brushes were in it just says moda pro moda pro and on the back it tells you what each brush is, what they do, and um, they the brushes themselves are actually marked right here. So this one is called it's a liner brush, so it's, it says line, and uh, this one is a shader brush. It says shade right there, and then. Uh, you have a crease brush this is nice i can't wait to use these i've already cleaned them because they came in a few days ago and i've just been dying to use them um i have a detail brush like a pointy detailing brush right there and the last one is a smudger brush and this this one and the smudger brush you know you can take that underneath the eye or up in there or in the corner there use it how you want to use it so that is the five piece deluxe brush set so now that can go in the trash yeah y'all don't know i wanted to throw it out so bad one of the other items i received was the dr brand hydrobiotic recovery sleeping mask now i've been wanting to try a recovery sleeping mask y'all and eh, i know that what's that company avino in the drugstore they had one and i've seen it already turned up in tj maxx and marshall stores and i'm like okay fine so anyway i skipped on that but this month this is the box it came in and i can tell you i tried this the first night it came in and hunty i put on my retinol first my retin-a cream because I do use this 
this stuff ain't cheap y'all i i baby it i need a new tube but i baby this bad boy because it's expensive as heck but it, it helps my acne it really does help my acne and uh, so i put that on first let it sit about five to ten minutes while i did other things to prepare for bed and then i put a little bit of this dot it and just blend it on and oh hello all day the next day and even yesterday my face was smooth it felt moisturized um i didn't get the dryness that usually comes from the you know that peeling when you use the retin-a cream oi 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 it was just good so i'm gonna continue to use this and it does say for all skin types so i'm already liking this the only thing that i noticed because this was the diff the only different thing i i noticed i did was that why is this playing music is playing on my watch ah i just paused it i just felt something vibrating so anyway um the only thing i noticed and i'm not gonna say this is the cause because i also this was the new thing this was the new thing come to think of it i did notice like i had one little bump come up there right here there was a thing under the skin it kind of popped up and then there was another one over here somewhere but i'm not going to attribute those to this because it was also a time of the month so that could have been the the factor so i'm going to continue to use this and i'll let you guys know how we fare all right so that's the second thing and i'm glad i started using the box so i could actually y'all you know tell you and that retails the dr brandt retails for 50 what what <coughs> The recovery sleeping mask retails for $52. I love my skin very much, but I pay a hundred and something for this. I've all, I've, uh, yeah, yeah, I pay a hundred and something for this because it's worth it and I need it. So yes, but I don't think that if I didn't get that little thing, if I didn't get this, what is this? 1.7 ounce. If I didn't get this in this boxy charm, there's no way on God's green earth I was going to spend $52 for this. Sorry, but yeah, I'm just saying. And that's one of the reasons I stick with boxy charm because I get to try all that stuff and I pay $20 for them. Can't beat it with a stick if I tried. All right, another palette that we got a palette this month and I live for Violet Voss. <laughs> love their formula and the color selection so i got the violet voss essentials pro series now some of these shadows i'm going to tell you i have the holy grail i have two of their palettes i have the holy grail palette and i also have the palette that they did with that girl that youtuber girl laura lee or laura whatever her name was or is anyway um so these are shades that I'm thinking that they pulled from a few of their um, palettes because I recognize the name of a few of them, like Plumberry, Cinnamon, Emerald, uh, Terracotta, um, Dusty Rose. Those shades I remember from different palettes because I, I do have two Boxycharm palettes, uh, two Violet Voss palettes. I like it. I like that it has a gold. I like that it has an emerald color. I also like the warm tone, the terracotta tones here. I like, you see, it has like this pink, but it's not too bad of a pink, and it's just called pink. But this pink reminds me of Max Expensive Pink, and that eyeshadow was a very, very good eyeshadow, in my opinion. I don't even know if they still make it. Um, you can check the MAC website, type in expensive pink and see if you find it. But mine is finished. I used it up. I think I have a little bit more left in the pan. But this kind of reminds me of a slightly amped up version of expensive pink. But I can see it has like that gold shift. The MAC one has that golden shift to it. And this one I can see has a bit of a golden shift to it. So, yeah. 
and this palette i think is very well rounded because you not only have colorful shades you can do a, a regular neutral eye with it there's a cream shade you can if you're a pasty pirate a cream shade could work either as a brow bone color or a lid color um Dusty Rose is one color I know people really like. That is great for a transition shade. Terracotta and Sand. Hey, you can be transition or you can go on the lid. Cinnamon is a nice shade to deepen the crease with. And of course, there is a black. You cannot do without a black eyeshadow. You hear me? So this, I would travel with that and be happy. I'm telling you now, I'm just, I'm just saying. The formula from Violet Voss is amazing. They blend well, they're smooth, they're creamy, they're not too creamy, they stay put. And here you have a mixture of finishes. So there are one, two, three, four, five shimmer colors. They're not glitters, they're shimmers or, or you know. And then you have one, two, three, one, two, I just lost my count one two three four five yeah another five the other five shades are all matte so the shades that you would you want to use as transitions these are all mattes and the black is a matte black so I like I like and that retails for $29 the Violet Voss palette all right Hank and Henry blickety black eyeliner pencil I ain't never heard of these guys. I don't know who they who they who they are or where they're from or whatever. However, I always love a black liner. So this is nice. I've tested it. It is long wearing, and it has that very fine tip that I like. And the the tip is also synthetic. It reminds me of the Kat Von D. Um, tattoo liner the trooper that tip and hello these tend to line very very nicely and I like that let me get you back on put your skirt back on yeah all right the next thing I have and oh the blickety black retails for 20 bucks now billion dollar brow it says the micro the micro blade effect brow pen this retails for $18 I've heard of it never tried it so this is my chance to try it this one just says dark the shade is dark and it has that tip that has that three little thing where you can like comb it through I think I will like this. I have not used it yet. And the reason I haven't used it yet is because I have this one that I paid $2.99 from, from the um, beauty supply store. And it just says eyebrow marker. And it's the same tip. And I really like doing my brows with that. I used it this morning even to do my brows. And I kind of washed my face when I came home. Kind of cleansed my face a bit. And then just threw on a little bit of makeup just to come on here so never mind the brows not being full on it is what it is y'all know i don't pretend around here right you should know this by now i just do what i do and i'm enjoying what i do and that's it i love it so that is the all access box for the month of september and then and then she went out today and she picked up a few things Ulta, $7. The glycolic uh, foaming cleanser. This, they recommend that you use it two or three times per week. And because of my acne prone skin, blah, 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 I always wait until they have a, the sale to get something from Mario Badescu. I used to buy the um, drying lotion all the time. But now, I don't really use it so much because I'm consistent with the retin-a thing so yeah but i do need good skin um cleansers so i got that 
on this sale. All right, uh, TJ Maxx, I got this Buxom Gloss. It's underneath this. I can feel the cooling sensation. I really like Buxom Glosses. They are one of my favorite lip glosses to use. And this one is kind of weird. It kind of weirded me out. It's called Mariah, but it's kind of sticky, and it's just this flat little spatula type thing. And this gloss has a shift, like a, a bluish purple shift to it and it's weirding me out i put it on my lips and it just went cray cray it just kind of looked like goopy and and so i learned really quickly that i need to put a very thin layer on there anyway that being said i found this at i really like the Too faced melted matte lipsticks i hate absolutely hate the melted these <laughs> i can't stand them i still have a few in my collection uh this one is melted candy bought it in georgia when i visited one year and it's just been here i think i used it all of like one time i i i can't deal i can't deal i can't deal trying to get rid of it anyway but these i love 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 and this one is the what is on my lips and i wanted the palette for this it's the clover thing you know little puppy dog things yeah um so this showed up at, at tj maxx and this is melted clover and it's on my lips and that is that so yeah i really like the formula on these i don't have a lot of them but the ones i do have i love and i also have the glosses amazing as well yes so love that um what else throw that box away colette i at tj maxx i found this real techniques lip set that's a little mirror on top and this is a container, I guess, to keep them and travel with it. It's these lip brushes. This is supposed to exfoliate your lips. My God, that's rough. This is a lip brush, another lining, detailing lip brush. I could probably use this as a liner brush. I'm just gonna use them for what I want them for. And this is supposed to like apply your lipstick and after you apply, you angle, clean up under the really okay it was on clearance for like four dollars so i got it bite me didn't need it but it was on clearance and i wanted it so i got it oh i think this is a collaboration that shayla did with maybelline i never saw these when they were local and these are the maybelline colossal big shot mascaras purple and blue they were $2.99 a piece and I should try the purple one because well I'm already oh the brush is nice hello it said colossal I was expecting some big ugly brush oh I can't see that though I'm gonna have to prime my, my lashes and put this purple on there but look at this brush hi shut the front door Hey, can you see that? Y'all gotta tell me if you see it, but <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yes. I behave. Anywho, what else did I find? <laughs> oh, I got some stuff for the house, laundry thing, but I got this Polaroid uh, charger for the car. And right now the little one I have only holds uh, two. So this one has four thingies, uh, compartments, USB spaces, four, four, yeah. Because Minnie Me likes to get in my car, unplug my charger to plug in her thing because she uses a different charger cable than the regular one. And then I have an iPhone and I'm like, stop pulling out my stuff anyway yeah so 
that is that oh no i'm not done yet i ain't done so uh, i've been hearing about the real techniques maximum powder brush the miracle powder sponge it feels kind of microfibery if that's a word <laughs> no it's not a word it does feel soft like microfiber it actually feels like not microfiber but um kind of velvety like that's what it feels like i want to try this out so i'm going to use this it feels nice though it's soft i think it's softer than the original sponge in my opinion this is the cheek one this one is softer this one is kind of bouncy but anyway i'm gonna use this and let y'all know what i think about it this is also new i got this for like 40 something cents at walgreens yeah they were having a, a some kind of a clearance shindig okay what else i want to share with y'all brushes this clearancing out at i don't have this one from this collection i do have a few of them from the collection but this brush was three bucks being clearanced at uh tj maxx contour hello i like you so i got that uh ulta got this one and they have a buy one get one hey looks like it would work for contouring as well but it's a bit soft hmm this is weird i am i think there's gonna be a little learning curve on this but yeah we're gonna use this and see how we apply blusher or i think it could also use for highlighting let's see that way this way for highlighting the thicker part for blush i'm gonna play with it y'all maybe we can play together and this one is new it's a very small brush i like the size of it because as fat as my face looks to y'all like all of here <laughs> blush i like it right there and i find that i have a lot of big blush brushes so i needed a smaller more tapered blush brush and so yeah because i have that one that i got uh from wet and wild but lord it got everything everywhere so whatever so i got this anyway i think that is all i wanted to share with you guys oh got me a pack of these bad boys they're metal straws because i'm joining the gang with the whole you know this part up here is silicone so you're not hitting your teeth against metal and it being you know, all cold and stuff so yeah i got a pack of metal straw that has thing they had glass ones too i was surprised and i've been using it so just stick it in here so in my big old bubba mug <sighs> so <coughs> excuse me that is it you guys <coughs> dang near choked myself just now anywho oh one more thing tweezer man eyelash curler this thing seems to be so simple and foolproof i wonder why this is 20 something dollars in the stores but i of course i didn't pay that for it it was six bucks um it was in um tj maxx on clearance i don't know why it was on clearance because they had some excuse me they had some that was like 10 bucks 9.99 they had some for ten dollars there was another one for eight and this one was like six dollars but it is a tweezer man and if you know me i love tweezer man tools so um i decided to invest in an eyelash curler yeah it feels really light and full foolproof so i'll let y'all know if i like it all right so that's it that's it i'm done 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 okay okay i have brushes to go put away 
because I did a whole brush washing thing yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen the load of brushes I washed. Shh, don't tell nobody. Yeah. So now I have the fun. I already have new brushes out to be rotated. Let me show y'all something, something right quick. So these are already out on the vanity for me to play with. Some were in a drawer and I pulled them out and then those are clean and those need to be put away. So, yeah. <sighs> Y'all are wondering if I'm high today, right? No, I'm not high. I'm just feeling good that today I'm having a good day physically. So, I'm a on a little bit of a high yeah take it when I can because you know yes anyway I love you guys so so much thank you for being here with me thank you for spending your time with me you could have clicked off you could have gone somewhere else if you made it to the end of the video go to TJ Maxx because they have the subculture palette on sale on clearance for $16 so I'm not sponsored. Ain't nobody know me. Ain't nobody gonna sponsor me. But anyway, comment down below if you made it to the end of the video, okay? <laughs> and um, thank you guys again. And be kind to each other. And until the next video, enough love. Bye-bye. Walk good. <laughs>